things were more expensive, I think, back in the 70s. Food was definitely more expensive, relatively speaking. The people were paying a lot more as a percentage of their wages on, on food then. That's just how it was. But there was also a culture of, um, you know, a lot of the miners went out for a drink as well. <laughs> they liked, <laughs> to, liked the odd pint. We had one holiday a year, which was a caravan in Skegness. Uh, like I said, uh, we had a garden full of vegetables, chickens at the bottom of the garden for the eggs. And, and that was our food bank. You know, that, our, our garden was our food bank. So if we were short or anything, my dad went in the garden or the allotment and, and got the food out. So, I mean, we didn't think it was in poverty. I didn't think we were impoverished or in poverty or, or, or dirt poor. I didn't think that. But perhaps if people, some people today could go back in a time machine and see how we lived, they'd probably think we were very, very poor. But I didn't see that at the time. But you see, you say about where you were brought up that my garden or my dad's, dad's garden, garden yeah. was the food bank. It was, yeah. Yeah, but that wouldn't be true in Barking, would it? Your garden wouldn't be big enough. I mean, the, you can't grow vegetables in large parts of our inner cities and inner towns. Bits of them, yes. Yeah. You might be able to have what, a pot or two. Nick. But in other words, what I'm suggesting to you is that what makes sense to you may sound very hard and unsympathetic to people who are struggling. <clears throat> and I wonder if that bothers you. Well, the point I was making was with people more, more resourceful. Um, you know, when I was growing up as a child, not just in Ashfield, probably all over the country, they were more resourceful. These these were the children. My parents were the children of, of uh, you know men that had fought in the war. They'd gone through very very difficult times. So there was a different culture, there was a different outlook on life, and they made do. Uh, and when they were struggling, like my dad always said to me, you know, if you need more money, go and work a weekend shift, do a bit of overtime. It wasn't you know complain on Facebook or Twitter or go and do a TikTok video or. You know, just complain to government. It's your responsibility. If you want to have children, you pay for them. If you want nice things, you pay for them. 